Disclaimer, we do not claim the outcome of this fictional fight to be factual. Any battle could end with any outcome, depending on the circumstances. We are just simply choosing the most likely outcome and the one that will fit the most circumstances. So be kind in the comments and remember that we love you. Enjoy the video. Fictional fight rules! No prep time. No outside help unless it is a major part in a character, like Pikachu and Ash, Jack and Daxter, or Gara and his mother Sand. Non-canon events will be included as long as they are not contradicted by the main canon. Fighting, a violent craft that has been part of all life forms throughout thousands of years. And while anyone can fight, only few can master it. Today we'll be taking a look at two martial arts masters who have done the impossible. Krillin, the strongest human. Heihachi, the Iron Fist. This is Fictional Fights. Under the protection of a powerful warrior, the Earth is safe from planet-threatening monsters. This man lifts several tons just for training so he can conquer any foe. His power could be felt all over the planet. This man is Son Goku. And then, there's this bald dude here, Krillin. Huh? I thought we were going to do a Goku episode. Against Heihachi? No, 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 no. We have a different bald man planned for the Saiyan. I see. Anyways, Krillin, on the other hand, is... Not as impressive as Goku. What do you think this is? A, a peep show? What are you talking about? Of course I know. Liar! Shut your eyes! Trained under Master Roshi and later by Kami, Krillin has become the world's strongest human. Sure, he gets kicked around by some of the supernatural beings he fights, but Krillin himself is definitely worthy of that title. I mean, just look at him! He trained so hard his hair fell out! Vic, he's always been bald. <clears throat> Krillin's training has enabled him to use abilities a regular human wouldn't be able to comprehend. First up is the Kamehameha, an output of the user's key made into a dangerous beam. Next is the Scattering Bullet, a golden beam that flies upwards and hits its opponents from the sky like rain. Then there's his ultimate attack, the Destructo Disc. This extremely thin and sharp disc of key is able to slice through solid rock and who knows what else. The Destructor Disc is even strong enough to leave a mark on the face of a Saiyan! It would have killed the Saiyan too if he didn't move out of the way. Krillin is certainly stronger than the average human. Maybe he's compensating for something. But like I mentioned before, despite his strength, he still has trouble against unnaturally powerful beings. Some of his opponents are strong enough to actually catch the Destructo Disc. And while he did cut off Frieza's tail with one of them, it was only because Frieza was off guard and Krillin surprised him. There's no way Krillin be able to take on Frieza in an actual fight! Even though he has some shortcomings, Krillin has proven himself more than useful. He's a bit of a nervous wreck sometimes, but that's good because it makes him more prepared. He carries around healing sensu beans in case something goes wrong. Even as a child, Krillin was able to keep up with Kid Goku, who could dodge bullets. He was even stronger than Goku at one point when Goku could take a bullet to the face and lift a car. Bring it down to match Goku! He may be afraid sometimes, but he'll step up for his friends whenever they need him. I'm sure with just a bit more training, he could easily take down the foes that used to beat him down. Indeed. It is very clear his attacks have potential. Even the opponents he fight know this, since they often copy his Destructo Disc and amplify it with their own power. Big things come in small packages. The world's most brilliant martial artist, Heihachi Mishima. This poor guy has the worst luck. <laughs> he married a woman who turned out to be a demon. Had to kill her. Had a son who ended up being a demon. Tried to kill him. And then a perfectly normal grandson. Who ended up being a demon? 
This guy can't seem to catch a break. One good thing that came out of this was the fact that it was great training for him. Having to deal with all these demons has turned Heihachi into a tank. He possesses the same lightning like Aura has his grandson Jin. This aura allows his punches to- Yeah, 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 allows his punches to have more striking force, haha, <laughs> get it? Lightning strike, lightning like aura, punching, striking, ha ha ha, funny joke. Sheesh, that was harsh. You are not making that joke again. Anyways, Heihachi is extremely skilled in combat. He set up a fighting tournament and challenged martial artists from around the world to join. And out of all those people, still nobody could beat him except for his son, Kazuya. Heihachi has no demonic powers of his own. But to aid him in combat against his ultra-powerful children is the monstrous giant known as the Spirit Kyoto. I will gladly be the one to step up and annihilate you! <laughs> Kyoto Earth Goddess, spirits that lie dormant in this tomb, the time has come for you to rise! <laughs> These guardian spirits act as a mountain-sized suit for Heihachi that can do incredible damage! It also acts as the perfect shield since the monster is so big and Heihachi is so small. He only uses it if he absolutely needs to though since he's perfectly capable of holding his own. He did kill his demon-possessed wife after all, and has survived every encounter against any other demon. His punches are powerful enough to break down androids that weigh several hundred pounds. Even his mouth is powerful. He easily bit through a tomahawk, and his reflexes are so fast that he can catch bullets with his teeth. He survived being dropped off a cliff and being dogpiled by several tons of force. And he even survived an explosion that destroyed an entire mountain. All of this without the need of medical attention. Hihachi has done a lot of cool stuff and he knows it too. Which also happens to be his weakness. He is much too confident in his own abilities. He often boasts about how weak Jin and Kazuya are compared to him, only to get his butt kicked by them the very next second. But that still doesn't keep Hihachi from being a top tier human. I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to fight him. But would Krillin? Let's find out. It's time for a fictional fight. What's up guys? Yes, it's my ugly face again. Don't worry, you have a fight. I animated the fight for you. You got what you wanted. I'm just not sure it's as good as you wanted it to be because I told you before that I am not good at animating. So we still need animators. Because just because you have a fight for this one doesn't mean there's going to be a fight for everyone after this because I cannot draw. I do not how to make 3D not know how to make 3D models. I can't animate. I don't know how to do anything but sprites and there are not sprites for all the characters I want to use for this series and so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. If you know any animators or if you are an animator who's interested in helping out with the show, then please let me know. Anyways, let's get on with the fight. Over here! Yeah, that's right! I will protect your peace! <laughs> it's impossible! He's turning into a great ape! <laughs> Close. <laughs> I did it! 
And the little guy wins. What? But how? The big guy had an even bigger monster! Well, first is their speed. While their reaction speed may be similar, Krillin's flight gives them much greater travel speed. I guess so. Plus, all Heihachi's attacks are melee attacks, so Krillin had the range advantage too. And while Krillin may be pretty pathetic compared to others in his own universe, his strength is a lot compared to characters of other franchises. Not only that, but Heihachi's overconfidence is extremely bad for him here since he's fighting someone who's always prepared for anything. And before you ask about the spirit Kyoto, Krillin's Destructor Disc is more than capable of cutting through it. The Destructor Disc can cut through rock and even giant buildings. And Spirit Kyoto is only made out of Mokujin, which is basically just wood. The Spirit Kyoto doesn't have any special properties either. It's basically just a giant suit. The poor old man just couldn't keep his life from being taken away. The winner is... Krillin. Yes. Oh no! Enough <laughs> kidding around. Marin, you haven't said much about Krillin. What makes him so special to you? Gosh, that's a good one. <laughs> Uh. Well, he's bald! <gasps> Get ready for the next battle!